I have loved painting since I was a kid. I didn't go to the art field after graduating from high school. I used to work as a technician, work in a coffee shop, and etc. Backtrack in 2013, when my wife was pregnant, I need more money to support our family. One day, I only had about two ringgit fifty cent in my pocket. My wife asked me to buy some stuff, and I don't know what to do. I was broke. I felt hopeless. I was sitting in Padang Kota Lama, and I saw some tourists walking into the Fort Comlis. So an idea struck into my mind. Maybe I can draw a caricature for people. So I went back home to bring out some drawing tools. Sat at Padang Kota Lama and started my business. At first, no one was interested in it. Then a French guy approached me. My first time drawing caricature for people wasn't a good experience. I spent about 30 minutes finishing a painting, but he paid me 10 ringgit for that piece. It was encouraging. I really appreciate it, and it built my confidence. At that moment, 10 ringgit was like 10,000 for me. On that day, I drove for 20 people. I never thought of this result before. It was a hard time. But this hard time became the turning point in my life. Life is survival. We cannot decide not to face the problem. What we can do is to make the decision. My philosophy of life is, if you lose somewhere, you should go back to the beginning. I launched my comic in 2015. I named it Tanjung Lai. I hope I can promote Penang culture through this cartoon. I was born and raised in Penang. Penang is an interesting place. We can discover this land with the protagonist, Joji. My second comic is The Little Mama. The backstory behind this comic is because of my idol, Datuk Lai. Datuk Lat encouraged me to draw something that is based on my own story. I can tell a story from myself, my identity. I'm a mama. When I was a kid, I was the only mama in the village. Other kids look at me like an alien, so sometimes I was playing alone. At first, I don't really understand what mama means. Then my grandma told me its origin word is mama, which means uncle. Mama is actually a special community in Malaysia. Everyone likes to eat at mama stalls, but few of us really know the story of this community. Indian Muslim play a part in bringing Islam to this land, and they are also bring all the spices and goods from India. When I was a kid, my grandma taught me not to be frustrated about my own identity. She kept telling me good things about Mama. She let me know that we Mama already here before the independence. She took care of me when I was young and taught me a lot of things. When I was a kid, Grandma brought me to explore Penang Island with the ferry. She brought me to Little India, visit some malls and Sungai Pinang, where my relatives live in. Those memories are very precious to me. So the little mama is the way that I used to track back my root and the history of mama. Some of the stories in the comic are based on the memories between me and my grandma. My grandma made me stronger, believed that our root is very strong. She made me feel proud of being a mama. Besides, she always motivates me when I'm down. To be honest, I spend more time with her than my friends. 
she is one of the most important people in my life. I promise her I will bring her travel to other countries because she never been to foreign country in her entire life. But when I can make it, she's not able to do it anymore. In my comic, Grandma and I were in a lot of places in Malaysia. Now, the little mama was sold to a lot of places. I feel like I bring in my grandma to travel those places.